Hey guys, welcome along. Um, okay, so uh, not sort of well, quick could be quick. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I wanted to sort of do a live stream um, of the new track and the cars mainly, not so much the physics um, because we are obviously PC were one point nine now. This is really for the guys on console like myself. Obviously, I play both. Um, so I know that I'm not going to get this DLC um, for console for probably a few months. Not sure if we'll get the 1.9. I don't know because um, we haven't really had the 1.8 that long. So, but like I said, we'll see. So ideally, I wanted to do a live stream just really for the console guys to to sort of do a a, a slightly in depth guide of the new track, what to ex what what we 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 should expect. Um, like I said, obviously, I'm fortunate to have uh, PC and the console. Um, so, and obviously, we'll go through the, the, the free cars as well. Now, if any of you guys, console side, want to see anything else in depth, then I will try and possibly do a live stream on this. That way, you guys can put in the chat what you want to see there and then. Uh, and then we sort of do it on the fly that way. But as I said, I'm sort of limited for time, so I can't sort of stream tonight um but like i said we'll try and get this video out as i've sort of made it today uh on the thursday so like i said we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on but yeah we're just going to go track sort of guide um obviously i don't know the track this is the first time as you as you see the game's loaded up i've just bought the dlc the track and the free cars obviously i downloaded the um, new 1.9 update yesterday but as i says i haven't been on the game at all so this this is all new this is all first but as i said for the the console guys because i do feel for you guys um i'm a console guy myself you know that um and we have to wait whether it be two months three months four months i don't know uh and then obviously we don't know what we're going to get obviously the dlc we probably will get with the free cars and the track the 1.9 with the new physics the tire models and everything else i don't know um so like i said we'll, we'll just just have a sort of potter around and anything else um and i'll try and obviously like i said once this video goes up any sort of questions um put down in the description box below and i'll try and answer them as i said this is all new to me as well so physics wise i'm not sure if i'm going to feel them straight away it's a new track as well so like i said we'll see right i'll go let's try and find the track uh, where are we uh valencia is it valencia there you go so this is the track um we're gonna go hot lap is probably the best option uh, do we go in the favoured beamer or do we well, actually we'll stick with the beamer uh, we'll go with the proper turn one obviously but yeah we'll stick with the beamer we'll just sort of do a track guide uh, 10 o'clock that's fine that's fine it should be clear weather so I says what we'll do is we'll hit drive green light, green light. Go, go, go. we won't drive anywhere just yet We'll go to escape, we'll go replay, we'll pause. We'll bump that up. The track temp is 19. Seven. The air temp is 17. Celsius. We'll, we'll sort of have a look around before we drive. Uh, nice bit of water. <laughs> so like I said, I have not drove this track at all. So, so we'll go up. I'm sure if there's a button on this, I'm sure there's a button we can press that speeds it up possibly, but I haven't worked it out yet, so oh, it says you're gonna have to bear with me. This must be obviously the start finish straight. That'll be the pit lane, obviously closed off for hot lap. Uh, what I've read, I think people have said it's a cross between Barcelona, which is good for me because I like Barcelona. Um and Mizano, which maybe isn't good for me because I don't like Mizano that much. So we'll, we'll see. I said we'll, we'll we'll get into the laps on it in a minute. Um, yeah, let's have a look over it. We've got the uh, foliage. You know what circuit it is. Nice long start finish straight. To be fair. I should uh, yield some overtaking. I think it's going to take too long, you know, to have a search around. I'm sure there's, like I said, there's a, there's a way that to, uh, to speed up, but I don't know what it is. But 
anyway no duh yeah valentino rossi was it on the wall on the podium but yeah anyway right let's get out of that let's have a drive um setups obviously i've got no setups for this I'm not too sure when coach dave is going to get the setups out so we'll just go with a safe preset electrics on eight but that's three that's fine really matter about that as i said i'll just do some, a few laps just to sort of round the track really just to see what it's like obviously i'm not going to be quick straight off the bat probably going to take me a while to learn it especially if it's like a mizano because i don't like mizano as i'll keep saying <laughs> definitely don't like mizano right okay let's uh continue have we got this uh yeah so i'm all at sixes and sevens so i'm not even prepared let's go to show uh just jumping straight on it i said i've still got it on keyboard that's from when i do my replays or my pictures for my thumbnails uh what else did i turn off that right bear with let's try again Right, let's go. Like I said, as far as um, the physics, force feedback or whatever, I'm not going to comment on that just yet on this track because it's a completely new track, new surface, new layout. So... Like I said, I've got to learn it. It's not really a good, good sort of reference point. Oh, that's a bit of a. At the minute, I'm just following the. Um, the dark patches, the rubber. Just usually a good way to learn a track if it's there. Breaking points as well. Usually they're not far off. Be a bit of a technical track by the looks of it. It's going to be one of them tracks where you just waiting, 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 then go, then putting your foot down. You want you be like wanting to put it down early. See, look, obviously too early. one thing i noticed as well i was obviously watching oh, i was watching um, i think it was dave cam this morning and he was saying about the tire range now is between 26 and 27 psi now, the thing is i noticed which i always notice anyway on the tires the as you can see from the actual picture of the tires they are 26 i mean the the, the, the rear right is 26.5 but the actual indent underneath is where you've got the three strips is still sort of in to say obviously they are just a little bit under deflated but i always sort of use that to try and get them leveled off top and bottom then i'm sort of happy and confident that they're up to uh up to temperature and up to obviously inflation so i don't know gonna take some getting used to i suppose proof is going to be in the pudding for lap times even with them sort of going like that with the middle bit being lower the middle strip being lower but you still get the grip i don't know so, so i can't really tell on this this track it's also difficult i mean being on uh, xbox last night where the force feedback isn't as good as pc and jumping back over to pc but yeah not a bad circuit as i said it's gonna be one of them sort of frustrating ones where you want to get on the power as early as possible but you can't sort of waiting wait waiting but yeah definitely a technical track it's possibly a short track as well what do we do a 139 but that's like obviously going off track and so maybe a in the 20s not sure if it'll be a low 20 like brands but so it's definitely going to be a uh, frustrating time i think trying to get it right yeah trying to get it right get the corners hooked up get your braking zones perfect so i'm 
Let's see if you can take this rather quickly if you cut it, which, yeah. Yeah, so you just want to get on the throttle and... Fair enough, you can, by the looks of it, cut the curbs. Cut the green stuff quite well. Just not sure about the track. I don't know. So obviously, I know it's sort of the location of it. Hot climate. Going to be a lot about. I like the tracks where there's a bit more, a bit more green, a bit more trees, a bit more. I think even Barcelona's got a bit more trees than what this has. Seems very sparse on the old foliage. <laughs> Just seems yeah the track, that's it. Definitely a, a, a flowing track when you get it right. I think it be, would be very re rewarding when you get it right, to be fair. Yeah, you can't go through there flat then. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna be, take time, get used to. I feel sorry for the guys that are in championships that then, or start a new championship and the crack gets added. Definitely going to take a bit longer to get used to it than most. But yeah, all in all, not a bad track to be fair. I think the uh, this start finish straight helps to aid overtaking. Not sure about overtaking on the rest of it. Because it does seem very technical. Another circuit maybe where, yeah, overtaking is not the easiest. See, just ugh, whether that's grip or... I don't know. Right, anyway, that's the track. As I says, it's, it is what it is. I, I'm not sure whether um, I'm going to like it or... I suppose it'll all hinge on how quick it takes me to get used to it. I think that would be, yeah, the, the, the biggest thing. Right, we'll have a dive. Not sure what track to go with, to be fair. Why don't we go... What tracks do we like? We obviously like Barca. We go Barca, we'll go Barca. We'll go with... Let's check the new cars out, shall we then? Right, so, what have we got? Look at Evo 2. So it's an ST. I thought it was a... Was it that one? No, sorry, it's that one. What am I on about? Uh, that's the new one. Okay. Somebody also said on the video it was um, the same engine. I think it's, it's just the sort of aero or design of the actual car itself, which is different. So I don't know. Let me have a quick look at the older version. Yes, yeah, so it hasn't got the the tail. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. How many um, how many liveries with it? The pink and the yellow. Okay, let's take this out. We'll go Barca. I said no no tunes or anything like that. Um I actually did see um I think it's Trev Wenham has done a hot lap of spa already in the Ferrari and I think he's managed a low is it a low very low sixteen two sixteen which is just crazy to be fair. Uh, we'll go to safe. The track temp is 90. The air temp is 17 Celsius. Right, okay. Almost maximum win. So, uh, I said, don't expect any uh, go, go, go. massively quick times. Yeah, my ratio's on 900-900, so it should, in theory, be fine for cars. So don't drive the Lambo much, so I don't know if this is going to be... Um, well, the old Lambo's got the two TCs, TC2 and TC. It feels slightly different. Getting a lot more feeling through the wheel. I don't know whether that's because of the update. Straight out of the box, though, there's grip. Straight out of the box. 
I know obviously I'm running, what am I running, 6 and 6 TC, so... But yeah, it's not sliding. So I know this track quite well, I do like this track. Yeah, straight into my immediate feeling is grip. Straight away. Usually you go out on sort of coldish tires. You, you're, you are sliding. This is just feels like it's got a grip straight away, but a lot of the tyres are, well, the left are at 26.2, so apparently that's in the range, or the start of the range. It does feel different. Obviously, I know this is a different car, but I feel massively different. We will try the Beamer. Obviously, it's my go-to car, the car of choice. Um... Might as well try it round here, to be fair. Probably be a good comparison. But yeah, straight away there's grip. Shocked how much grip there is. Of course, it seems slightly different to what they were. But as I said, it's difficult because I was on Xbox last night. So, difficult for me. To sort of compare. And the brakes aren't exactly... And again, it's, uh, it's a safe preset. Yeah, got a bit of gas too early. Okay, now. Definitely feels different. I says whether us Xbox guys will get the. Uh, the 1.9 as well as the DLC, I have no clue. It's so easy to drive. I know TC is on 6 and 6, but it's just effortless. That's maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I don't know. We'll see by the lap time. Usually it means when it's easier to drive, the, uh, you have to push it. A lot harder than what you're doing to get a decent lap time, so... I said, not sure if the range of tyres or that the tyre the wear will be worse um, or better with the new physics, I don't know. I we'll find that out in a couple of weeks when we do the RCI here at Barca. Oh! And rob me of some time. It's going to be a 45, is it? A 46, so yeah, quite slow. Maybe high 45, not hitting that sausage. Wants to do what uh, I'm asking it, though. Lifting slightly out though. Yeah. Okay, Boris. To watch the track limits. Definitely enjoying it though. Probably wrong gears and everything for every corner. Dirtied it for sure. I think I'm changing gears as well. I could possibly change them. It goes in the red. I'm revving it out too much. Look what I do in the Audi. Coming from the Beamer, where you can rev it out and get away with it. Yeah, really easy car to drive, to be fair. I know I think Giardia was saying about the Porsche seems really easy as well. That'd be something to do with the, the new BOP, the physics. They've changed, I don't know. Yeah, not a bad car to be fair. Quite impressed. Have a look.
Look a bad beast, I love it. Definitely a lot more aggressive. I think the Ferraris looked a lot or, or very aggressive as well. Short sounds similar to the old Lambo, so nice flames. go check a couple more cars like I said I will check the Beamer after I've checked the other cars just to see if it does feel different uh, 20, no why has they moved it oh because it's a different okay it's not 488 oh check this out very aggressive nice We got this. Many liveries. A nice blue. A Red Bull. Red Bull livery. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's have a let's have a rip in the Ferrari. Safe in TCs. I don't. I'll leave that. You see, map. I presume freeze the quickest. Then didn't even see that on the Lambo. I can't remember if we went if it was on one or three or what it was on. Almost is it maximum? Yeah, maximum wing. Okay. Does look nice though. Green oh, look go, at go, it. Go. <laughs> Sounds different. Definitely sounds different. Sound like it's almost like the cross between the Ferrari Challenge, the Monza missile, and the normal 488. Short ratios by the looks of it. The longer fifth. Hear the turbo whistling slightly. Looks like it's got more grip than the uh, than the Lambo. To be fair. I'm not sure what engine this has got in it compared to the uh, 488. Getting a slight chirp. When letting off throttle. Again, very easy to drive. I know TC again is five and five, but brakes are good. Very good, in fact. That chirp. <laughs> and again. You can see I'm smiling. I've actually enjoyed driving this. Very turning on. It's really good. It must be the new physics. I don't know. Obviously these tyres are nowhere to be fair. That lap was at 147 and slower. It's uh yeah, tires nowhere but a bit twitchy under braking. Too early, oh, you 
absolute idiot. <laughs> God damn you. Uh, it definitely seems quicker than the Lambo, for sure. But I say the tyres are the left are sort of like just about there from in the range. The, the right arm, but it just feels it's so much grip. I says, yeah, it's so good on the brakes. Could probably break actually at the hundred, which I break just before, even in the Beamer I break just before. So it's going to be interesting to see what Beamer is like. Well, I seem to get a clean lap this time. I, for sure, it's going to be quicker than the Lambo on a clean lap. Showed that in the first sector. Straight out the box. With a right tune, this could be a proper weapon. Sector one's quick. So good on the brakes. Change the gear at the right point. That's quicker. Sector two time is okay. okay. Almost on the hundred. God, brakes are phenomenal. And I said, that's where the, uh, the right's not even up to in the window, a grip. Oh, turned in too early. Yeah, look at that. 45-2 with a safe preset. 45-3, straight away. Time lean on it. Really lean on it. I need, to, I need to get in the other car now. Of course, I can't be bothered because I'm enjoying this. <laughs> really enjoying this. I reckon they're getting the 44s. Madness. I was going to say, if the, uh, the new DLC and the update come for Xbox before the start of the uh, RPM Motorsport Season 4, I'd definitely be up for driving this for sure. Really good. Obviously, I know these are optimum conditions in hot lap mode, so I'll take that with a pinch of salt. But like I said, the tyres are not even up on the right, and it's still giving me grip. Sector two times good. That was um, pretty impressive, I tell you. Really impressed with that. Like I said, I don't know if it's because of the, the new 1.9 update. Uh, it could be. I have no clue until I jump into the beamer. It just really felt easy to drive. I suppose in a way for the for the new people jumping over to ACC or jumping onto ACC for the first time, whether that be console or PC. Obviously, this, uh, these haven't come to console yet, which is a, a shame. Um, hopefully, they will do. But it's another car that you can just jump in and drive, and drive quite quickly. To be fair, with no real tune, so. Yeah, quite impressed with that. Favourite car so far, the Ferrari.
for sure. Lambo was still nice, but yeah, the Ferrari definitely seems um, definitely seems the go-to car at the minute, right? So what are we looking for? The Porsche. Where's the Porsche? Porsche twenty twenty-three. I think this is the one. Yeah. Yep. Let's have a look. There's a few more liveries on this. Oh, that's a nice one. On that. Go that one. All right, let's try the uh let's try the Porsche. As I said, we'll do this. That was at 145.36. Good luck. That's your quickest. See, see where this this gets us. Um and issue map eight. So like I said, I do not know whether these are, are the proper maps. I presume they are. Actually, I'll tell you how we can tell. Yeah, ECU 8, so we'll go back safe. We've been running the safe, running the safe on the Ferrari and the Lambo, so it'd be rude to run a different one. Uh, it looks fine. We didn't touch that. We didn't touch that. Just the thing. We didn't touch the tyres. Right, let's go. Hopefully, the rotation will be fine on this. Sometimes the Porsche is a little bit off on the 900. Mm, it seems okay. Even doesn't seem as precise. They yeah, could definitely rev out these a lot more. Yeah. Rev this right out, not like the Ferrari. Uh, they definitely can't chuck it about like the Ferrari though, for sure. It seems like it's got as much grip. The rotation's slightly off though. Probably seem perfect comparing the both. Yeah, definitely not as easy to drive. Still quite easy for a Porsche. Seems more you have to finesse it through the corner. Plus it could be that the rotation's slightly off, yeah. Rotation's a lot lower, so I'm probably oversteering the car. Brakes aren't as good as the Ferrari out the box. You see it's sliding off, off the corner. Go a bit slower into the corners. It's obviously not the Ferrari, you can't push it. When you drive a certain car and then you jump into another one, it's completely different. Completely different ball game. These tyres are actually the same pressure all the way around. We haven't got sort of uh, lefts that are in the, in the range of rights that aren't. They're all around the same here. Yeah. Yeah. The grip's not there. Find these track limits, please, Boris. But because of the tyres, I says none of them actually in the 26s, whereas the Lambos and the Ferraris were on the left. I don't know. All the tricky cars to drive. Having it in the right gear helps. Snapped a bit there. Well, I'd say it, the Ferrari's uh, my favourite. It's braking, it's just nowhere near as good as the Ferrari or anything. 
I says, yeah, Ferrari's definitely my favourite. Uh, the pack, for sure. I said, next we'll go quickly into the Beamer. If we can feel the difference with the physics and the tyre model. Yeah, that time's a lot slower. Don't get me wrong, it's, it is a bit... You can't really compare, compare, so... So you take it with a pinch of salt, but it's just... Probably this the setup needs a lot more work than the Ferrari out the box. Just sliding and see it, feel it. Sounds nice. Sector one. <laughs> that's about it. Sounds alright. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, that's a bit harsh. I like it. It's, yeah, nice car, but comparing it to the Ferrari straight out of the box, apples to apples, it's a lot harder, a lot more work. So, I says whether you can, but well, you will be able to sort that out with tuning it. No clue whether the coach that older tunes will work now with these or whether he just needs to tweak them slightly. I don't know. Hmm. Right. Let's jump in the Beamer, the car we know, the car we know really well. And we're going to just see. We won't load a... We won't load a tune. We'll just keep it the same preset and just see how it feels. I just think it'd be wrong if I load a, a tune that possibly will work now. I don't know. So 6-6, six, six, that's fine. Put them down. Everything else seems fine. Obviously, I know the rotation will be fine with this, so... See if we can feel any difference. I think the steering is uh, rotations a lot wider than the, than the Porsche. That's for sure. Gearing isn't as long. All right, let's see, shall we? feels stable. Force feedback seems heavier on it. Yeah, it's not sliding as much as the Porsche. Not sure what that car is. Is that the Ferrari? I'm sliding a little bit. Force feedback's Feels a lot heavier on it. These tyres are a lot more in the range. Still not as precise or as pointy as the Ferrari. The Ferrari just seemed really just so nice to drive. Can't get over, just jumping straight in it, straight out the box, safe preset. Bad brake, it's probably slightly better than the Porsche out the box. I don't know if that's the Ferrari or if they they overpowered the Ferrari. They made a mistake. Ferrari's gonna be the go-to car. Alright, see if we can get a a lap. Oh, so I'm not sure if that's... I don't know if that would be the Ferraris, the Ghost, or it would be my quickest lap in the Beamer's Ghost. I don't know. Try and drive it how I would do. see what that car is. It's turning in there though. Could 
Could be tune related. Definitely feels, I said, heavier. Turning the wheel, not the initial turn. Obviously, the more you turn it. Feeling anything hugely different. Again, it's difficult because I run the, the setup as I run. Definitely feels different though. And these tires are in the range, they're all at 26 or over 26. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's definitely different. I said the Ferrari straight out the box is the go-to car at the minute. Really impressive straight out the box. Right, no tune. Shoot that. Sector one time is good. Great bias is quite high to be fair. A bit more time in this, but he's trying to stay on the track. Now delete this lap, you've cut the track. Yeah, it definitely feels different. It's the way the cars handling still a still a yeah jumping in drive car for sure but that ferrari just seemed pretty impressive straight out the box it really did so yeah favorite car the ferrari for sure track ports i like barcelona better <laughs> Jury's out on that. Like I said, I, I haven't had enough time um, to get get used to the track, put in some decent times. But I think I'm impressed with that Ferrari. Really impressed with that Ferrari. So I think if, for sure, if, if the pack comes to Xbox, then that Ferrari, you know, might be a contender to uh, for one of the championships I'm in or start of a championship. So, but as I said, it, it will all depend, all hinge on when it comes to... Um, console hopefully it'll only be a month or two but i don't know i mean like i said but i i cannot answer that question unfortunately when it's actually going to drop until we get some more information off um kunos and stuff so but as i said physics wise time otherwise there's definitely a change there's a definite different feel um to it for sure obviously i will be doing more laps um i'm going to be sort of have, having to do practice for the rci in a couple of weeks at barca so i'll definitely be able to tell then putting on a a, a, a different tune um a custom tune instead of just running the safe but yeah as i said the ferrari's just blown my mind to be fair it feels so good straight out of the box so but on on the flip side of that is that an issue is it an issue that with a custom tune it, it you won't be able to extract a lot more out of it whereas say the porsche I mean, the Lambo didn't feel too bad. So on the level of lap times, it was obviously your Ferrari, Lambo, Porsche. Uh, I think they put the Ferrari and Port or the Lambo and Porsche being a lot closer. Uh, but like I said, the standout to me was the Ferrari. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I said just thought I'd make this video, um, sort of a 44-minute video. Sorry, it's not condensed down to a 20. I was just going to leave it as is. Um, I'm not going to, I said, mess about with stuff. I just yeah, thought I'd get a video out because I can't do a live um tonight but as i said just really for the console guys us, us guys i said i'm a console player as well still um so i think it would be a welcome change to 1.9 obviously i've got to do a bit more more laps to find out what's going on and, and obviously custom setups for that the free cars though are yeah really good but obviously as i said of, of a scale i go ferrari lambo then porsche obviously could could completely change the whole dynamics and, and and the way they drive with a custom tune i've just ran 
in hot lap mode with the, the save preset on all, on everyone because it just makes it fair. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, like I said if you enjoyed this video, um, sort of a off the cuff, uh, just my thoughts on the the new DLC and that for PC and the 1.9. Um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Obviously, we are trying to get to a thousand. We are close now, very close. Uh, and like I said, once we get to a thousand, we can sort of kick on from there. We've got giveaways happening and and stuff like that so as i said guys but yeah anyway i'm going to stop off and on keep an eye out for the notification for friday which will be my five race mini championship on xbox all welcome um if you're on xbox series x and s i run a my own server it's just five 10 minute races um and there'll be like points tied up at the end of it and i'll put it on my community page um as i always do so but yeah that will kick off at eight o'clock so the stream will go live at about 10 to 8 um 750 but yeah anyway guys hope you liked it um and yeah as always i'll catch you on the next one